We are going to be ranking the top five Premier League managers of all time. I am joined by Boovy. Good to see you, mate. How are you doing? Good, I'm good. I'm good. I'm looking forward to this. We, can, yeah. we might be able to put some managers in the mud that we don't yeah. really like. Or, or praise some ones that we do like. Yeah, I think we should go uh, a little bit left field with this. Yeah. Four, or even five of them are a little bit... I think it's, it's a very small club. Is there a set club. five? Is it a set I menu? Think a people I think people eat five. from the set menu when it comes to the top five so. managers, don't it, they? It's fish and chips and, and battered sausage and that's <laughs> about it, really. Yeah. Where is the pasta? Where's Ranieri? It could, he could he sneak in. In terms of the story, a million percent. And, and Mancini uh, mm -hmm. for a similar thing as well. Maybe even uh, King Kenny at Blackburn as a narrative. Yeah. But I don't think any of them can, can surmount the five that I think we'll talk about. No, well, we'll get to a man that's won the same amount of titles as some of those managers. Uh, a man that's leaving Liverpool, Jurgen Klopp. Uh, this for me, I think he goes in four, um, at number four. Okay. Because I think, uh, I think that it's about what kind of uh, side did he build? And I think the Arsenal, uh, the Liverpool side that got 99 points, it got 97 points, came second, that won the Champions League. I think they were better than the Invincibles. I don't think I think they'd have battered the Invincibles. Yeah, exactly. I'm not. I'm not even joking. That, like uh, credit where it's due, and I'm someone who doesn't give credit often to Liverpool if I can, if I can. But like those two years where they won the league and the year before you won the, like, that title race for you to for to not win the league on 97 points and also simultaneously win the Champions League, that's nuts. It's crazy. That's that's a nuts season. It's how he had have. two quadruple seasons. He might not win a quadruple this season. Yeah. He obviously didn't last time, but he got to two periods of a business end of the season where they're, they're on for, for quadruples. Yeah, and in my opinion, they've been up against you who have been the best team I've seen in England. And we've outspent so, them. We have outspent them. Yeah. So that's the reality. We have yeah. outspent that them. That money's gone far, though, hasn't it? Well, yeah, but, you know, it's their net spend. What's his net spend? 100 million quid the last seven years. Net spend. That is a bit nuts, yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. No, they no they are, they are um he has had he has had a bad impact like you said it's it, maybe you can diminish him for a bit of fun and say just one league title but look what they're up against million percent um yeah they've been very impressive I would I would have him fourth do we have the same man in fifth I think obviously Arsene Wenger has to go in number five yeah I've me. got him fifth I think some Arsenal fans are putting above the Mourinho's of the world maybe but uh, three league titles in twenty two years. Mm -hmm. One every seven and a half years, eight years. And they were all in the first eight years. Yeah, exactly. And uh, look, the double win inside of 98 would get close to the Liverpool side, in my opinion. The Invincibles would get close to some of these great Chelsea and City and Liverpool sides that we just, we're going to talk about. But um, I think the lack of the European Cup will always haunt Arsene Wenger. Yeah. Even you know? though Europa, something. Just it's something in Europe. Yeah. You know, I mean, ideally. there was, was it, I think it was eight, it might have been nine, I think it was nine years they went without winning anything. Yeah, at one I point, it was ten, wasn't it? It was a decade. It was close, yeah. Yeah. So you put him, you put in Arsene Wenger fourth. I'd put him fifth. Yeah. I know that people like to say he, you know, he stopped people eating ketchup, and that's why he's one of the best managers of all time. But like, <laughs> if I'm honest, okay, yeah, that's a big impact. I get because that's what people talk about, and there's still three league titles, there's still invincibles and whatever. But I just think the others had a bit more about them in terms of well, Klopp could bring a Champions League to the table. Yeah. And we'll talk about what some of the others in the top three could bring that I think differs them or puts them on a little bit of a different level. But those first eight years or whatever it was at Arsenal, obviously fantastic. Incredible. After that, you know, uh, I think Claude once put it, you know, if your milk goes stale, you don't put it back in the fridge. And there was a point where for, for years I had mates who were like, I think it was after Birmingham, they were like, yeah, get the gate. I can't, I don't want to. You were after Birmingham, that was yeah. early. You know, that was 2010. Mm. Mm. And then, you know, they lost ge They lost so many games after that, like, you know, six, six seven six years. 6 0 was a 1,000th game. Against, against Mourinho, who. Against Chelsea, yeah. Sammy yeah. too and all that was scoring, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. He was. Yeah. Wow. Um, so uh, we've got, I think we've got the same order then, basically, for fourth and fifth, haven't we? Yeah, we have. Yeah. And in, in third, I've just touched on there, I've, I've got Mourinho. Maybe yeah, like... Mourinho has to go in third. It's a weird club, the manager's legends club in the Premier League, because mm. Mourinho is in a different bracket to Wenger and Klopp by a country mile, in my opinion. Yeah. But I don't think he can get to number one or two for obvious reasons. We'll talk about that later, I guess. But um, I think Mourinho, defensive record out of this world in the 04 05 season, mm -hmm. coming back to do it 10 years later uh, with John Terry in the side is completely underrated. Yeah, know? yeah, it could be completely. I think. The thing that separate I was going to touch on that separates Mourinho and maybe Wenger because people argue they've both got three titles. Mourinho also did it back to back. I think that's what's impressive. The best sides when I look at 
over Premier League history. Like Arsenal never went back to back. Mm. United went back to back. I mean, they did a three. They did a three P. You guys have done a three P. Now looking for four. Like mm. that's what separates like, the best times because you can win one league and then suddenly oh I've won the league. Mm -hmm. Like the team could team. How do you motivate them to go again? It's hard. Yeah, and like you said, to come back and go and win another league with a different set of players, and that was all within I think. He won three leagues out of his first five years at Chelsea in two different spells. Like that's amazing. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. And I don't think I don't think Mourinho would stay at Chelsea for ten years and be a, as unsuccessful. He burns out as everywhere he goes. Did yeah. You know, I think I think Mourinho. What you say about his time? It's concise. Even three years in Roma mm. is is one title, one uh, another final appearance, and, and trying to get them in the Champions League, and then he leaves, and that is a period of intensity. Where Arsene Wenger, I think, failed over a longer period of time, and it's a baggier kind of, it's a baggier kind of lack of understanding of what this period of time is doing. Whereas Mourinho, you know clearly, he's, like, he's either winning or losing. Yeah. You know, very quickly, uh, and that's his genius. Doing that at multiple clubs and bringing a treble to Inter Milan, absolutely scary, man. Yeah, and even post Ferguson, he's United's most successful manager in terms of what he won. Like, what do you make of? There was a comment he made when they came second. I remember, I think it's the Centurion season. They were yeah. way, off, I mean, way off at point wise. But he said that's his best accomplishment in football. And yeah, obviously yeah, this yeah. is a man that's won trebles at Inter Milan and won the league against Pep's Barcelona, who was Real Madrid. Cool. Like you said, the defensive record here. Porto, like Porto, he has an incredible yeah. CV. But he thought that United side, having them second was... And, and that was it, interesting. Yeah. Now you look back and you go, was he wrong? Because at the time it felt, oh, they've got Pogba, they've got all these players. But well, I think he was, he was making a comment about the, 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 the situation at Man United, mm. the Glazers. I think he was talking more yeah. about the... I've, I've managed to get this organisation to come second as yeah. opposed to the football side because I, th I still think there are gaps on that side. But then they beat us at the Etihad. Mm. And, and, and there's a small win there from Mourinho in this discussion about the great managers that he goes up against, mathematically at least, the best side in the history of the Premier League, the Centurions, as you correctly said. But then at the Etihad, he stopped City being the earliest ever Premier League winners. Liverpool have now got that record. He stopped City being 103-point champions in the That's Premier League. Mad. <laughs> um, and, and there was other records as well. I think City's first ever, I think, ability to win the league against mm. Man United. Obviously, we haven't won many league titles before the takeover, but you know, Arsenal won the league against Tottenham, haven't they, when they played them. And that would have been a huge moment. And, and Mourinho, on his last legs in terms of his prime years, in my opinion, at Man United, stops all of that happening for City. In a game, yeah. he manages the game very, very well and gets them back in the game. They were, I think, they were one. Finished two nil down, wasn't was it? it two 0 yeah. yeah, at least one nil. But um, yeah, so that 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 game by itself, and I was I was sat there shouting. Yeah, he had me shouting, Mourinho. And that was only <laughs> a few years ago. Yeah, well, I'd like him back in the league. I think. Yeah, I think. I think, I think the league wants him back. Really, to be honest, course, he's always he's always entertainment. Of course, and that's what he's given us as well. A lot of lot of press conference memories and that sort of thing 100% um, but our top two and I don't think it's a shock that it is those two to be fair I think yeah. pretty much everyone unanimously would say but I'm interested to know who you rank number one and who you rank number two well I've ranked Pep number one of all time in European football mm -hmm. I think he's above, I think he's above Ferguson and that's just down to beating Ferguson in two finals having having more success more Champions League trophies in a, in a condensed amount of time half the amount of managerial years on under his belt compared to Ferguson with more league titles in that condensed amount of time um, never finished below never finished below fourth I think in his entire managerial career so many records I think Ferguson struggles to compete with I really do but then if you condense it down to what he's done in the Premier League then that great Barcelona side from Spain and we're talking about yeah. Man City and obviously we won the treble but you can't you can't sit there and say he's had a better legacy in the Premier League than than Ferguson. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, I'm 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 not gonna lie. I think when all said and done, I think I probably would have him number one. I'm kind of with you. Like I'll I'll put Ferguson top just because right now he left on the spot. But there is a part of me that thinks the years he's been at, what has he been at City? So 2016 he joined. Yeah, it's about seven years now. So yeah, seven going on to eight years. So eight, eight full seasons. We don't, we don't know what happened this... 23? No, 26, I think it was. Yeah, so in 26 years, he won, was it 13 league titles? 13 league titles. Two, two, Champions, two Champions Leagues. Champions Leagues. In, tw failure, in 26 years... In, the in 26 Cup. years under Pep, how many did you win? The, and this is where I'm looking at it. And, and not only that, with the level of football that you're, you're playing, with the fact that one was with 100 points, one was with 98. Like Domestic trebles never been seen before yeah domestic trebles then an actual treble so they've matched that one and then I just think if Pep had another 18 years I think you'd win at least one more Champions League at least Um, I'd like I'd think as well what is it is Pep won six leagues or 
Yeah, because Pep's won five and six, and he'll be going on for four in a row now. So okay, he's currently on five. Yeah, he's he's on five Premier Leagues. I think he'd win more than eight in the next eighteen years. What one every two? Easy. That's one what I, that's what I mean. So I, it's a, it's a weird one. In terms, like you said, in terms of leg, and also one thing I would say with Ferguson, he adapted with time mm-hmm. a lot and really well like his early he had the the, the, the uh, class of 92 mm-hmm. and obviously kept a lot of that core but even then he moved on to when the league got more, more foreign players came in etc he adapted but Pep showed no reason why he wouldn't adapt and evolve so yeah it's an interesting one it's a shame we didn't like you said they, you touched on they had each other in the Champions League finals it's a shame we hadn't had like City and United when they were both good under both oh imagine that yeah imagine that. but yeah I think Ferguson's got to be number one easily yeah, I said, I, yeah. Uh, when all said and done, it might be Pep, but for now, for now, I'll go. I'll go Fergie with you. Yeah, but yeah, hundred percent. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, more will be coming on the YouTube channel, but yeah, make sure to check out Boovy stuff. Yeah. I'm sure you know him. See but, you soon, mate. Yeah, in a bit. <laughs>